Um, so let me let me talk about um, something real quick. Uh, I mentioned at one point before, and uh, I, I wouldn't blame anyone for not remembering, but that's all all good. I um, I'm a I'm a huge uh, Crash Bandicoot fan. I know it's a weird thing. I almost feel embarrassed to say it because it's like you can't talk about Crash Bandicoot or Crash Bandicoot. Right. You can't talk about Crash Bandicoot without sounding like, I don't know, very juvenile. It's like you can't eat a hot dog without, um, you know, feeling slightly. You can't you can't be cool while you eat a hot dog is, I think, the, the, the saying, how the saying goes. Um, in just the same way, you can't really say uh, you play Crash Bandicoot without sounding like an absolute nerd um, at this point. And... Uh, so I was really looking forward to playing Crash 4, which was um, so done by uh, Toys for Bob, and um, it's uh, Activision. They have the the rights to Crash, which you know, you know, uh, things have come from Activision, but um, you know, so have other things. Uh, to put it lightly, you know, uh, Activision is a, is a company, and uh, you know, they they publish Sick Hero, so I have to give them some credit. Um, a anyway, what is, what am I saying here? Uh, what I'm saying is that I, I'm not a huge fan of the new Crash Bandicoot and I refunded it and now I have some, um, money on my Steam account and it's kind of sad a little bit, but I am looking for today. I am looking for recommendations for like, um, uh, uh you know, a, a, a purchase that I would enjoy. That's really all it is. That's all of that. I was implying that I just had a normal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, I'll, as always, I'm lurking, uh, and I start again working the 9th of January. Get, hmm. I did not mean to steal your streamer privilege. No, no, no. It, it, my privilege is that I get to ask again. That's what that is, Neville. No, no worries. You didn't steal it. My privilege is I get to ask again. Um. So, yeah, uh, the point of, of all of that horrible, drawn-out monologue is I'm looking for recommendations today, which is a hard thing I know for you all to do because you don't know what I have and what I don't have. Um, so it's really not, not like, I'm looking for, uh, like, I don't, I don't, I was thinking of getting Red Dead 2. The thing that holds me back from getting Red Dead 2 is that I have to deal with a Rockstar launcher. So, that's kind of a pain. Ooh, my coffee is good today. Uh, so are we doing just two games today, or will there will be something in between? Cough, cough, goddamn the garden. We could do goddamn the garden between those two, if that uh, that is something you would... Um... Yeah, we could do that. You want to do that? Maybe Stone Shard, if you don't have it. <sighs> Stone Shard keeps coming up in my life. Uh, no, no fault of your own, uh, da David. How do I say your name? Bimple's never played RDR2. Oh, well, I, I'd love to, except Rockstar absolutely messed it up by making their own launcher for some reason. It's just, like, really annoying. Um, it makes it extra difficult to play it on the, on the, my deck. Which, before you say anything about, you know, oh, you can't play it on Valve's proprietary system, it's just Linux, so I'm not exactly sure... Uh, what the problem is there. Um, I know Valve has actually put in like specific updates for the Steam Deck to run specifically Red Dead Redemption 2, which is kind of crazy to me. But um, I'm, I'm, either way, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's not a game I would likely stream. Uh, I don't think that anyone would necessarily enjoy um, watching me play Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, when I make a purchase for a game, I definitely uh, take streaming and uh, YouTubing into consideration because it's like if I can't, if I can't do something with this um, for YouTube or for streaming, then it's just for me, and therefore I'm less like less inclined. Like there's a little a bit of an extra barrier. It's like, well, this means I I have to make time for this uh, for myself. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, and it's not the game's fault in any way. But it's like. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you know, it's, it's sort of like, I don't know how, how often, um, chat, you, you read, like, a book. But it's like, I gotta make time, I gotta set time for this. 
um, you know, even if it's something you enjoy, you, you got to do something. Cult of the Lamb has an amazing OST. Uh, I don't have Cult of the Lamb. I'm thinking I might wait a little bit on that because it just came out and it's not the kind of game I want to um, pay for full price or 10% off. Listen, I, 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 you know, I buy a lot of games and therefore I have to wait for some of the hefty discounts. But it, that's a good recommendation, David. I'm terribly sorry about not greeting you all earlier. No, don't be sorry. Cult of the Lamb has a no. Okay, Cult of the Lamb is cute and dark. Um, cat, what are you doing? Are you staying or are you going? Do you do you just like want? My cat is like, if I don't give him suit a lot of attention when he gets up on my lap, he'll just go away. He'll just leave. Um. Besides uh, looking for recommendations today, chat, I did pick up quite a lot of games that were hefty. They, they were, they were. There's some some really good deals. I, it always makes me laugh when I see see people online. It's like, oh, this year's this Steam sale is really bad. I, I'm sorry uh, for the people who hate Steam. I'm going to be talking about Steam because that is the platform that I tend to buy my games on. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and not feel bad about it. I'm not talking to you, Kevbo. I'm just in general. Um, I, I, it's not not only you I hear it from. But anyway, um, let me let me show off some of the games I I got because I did get them with um, with you in mind, chat. I you know it's it's uh, the holidays for everyone, not just myself, right? <laughs> what a weird way of saying that. Uh, let me go ahead and set up um, display capture for a moment. It's a rare display capture. Uh, I'm just gonna have. Let me let me do um, let me do it this way actually. Uh, we're not gonna sort by review. We're gonna sort by last played. Yes. Okay. Talking to you, Kevin. So he's basically specifically. No, I, I I say that so that you won't think I'm just talking to you. Not. Well, you know, you know you know how it goes. Well, that was the wrong, that was the wrong voice module. Okay. Don't worry, Fimple, we all stink. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it is what it is. Okay, so um, I want to show off a couple of these games because um, I, I'm looking forward to being able to stream these. Um, let me do this this way. There we go. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming Hunt Down. I did pick this up with the Steam Deck in mind because I figured it would be a fun game to play on the Steam Deck. It's a very controller happy uh, game. Um, this one, Stonefly, is a game I'm really looking forward to streaming. I, 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 these are going to be put up to a vote, by the way. So the, you know it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, this is the next game um, I'm going to be doing. But I really like this game. I played it for, uh, like you can see there, um, like half an hour last night. Um, I do test some of my like I'm a little bit more picky choosy these days So what I'll do is I'll test a game to see if I if it's something I think I will enjoy and then if I if it's not then I will refund it I'm sorry, but um, you know, I like I say I buy a lot of games and so I I have to be a little bit conservative um, But yeah, this is uh, this looks like a really cool game. Let me uh, I'll, I don't know if I can I guess I can just click on it and we'll go store page for a moment um, but this is like, it's a really hard game to quantify, but you're basically in a bug mech collecting resources and also there's like a story and stuff. It is really cool. Um, I really, really like it so far. Um, ignore this. I'm going to have a video coming up for, for Stallcraft this week. And it's actually painfully outdated because I've progressed a lot farther than where I was. Um, I did pick up Terminus. This is a, I think would make a fun stream game. But it's mostly I picked it up um, for for YouTube pur purposes, um, so I you know it is what it is. It is r door of um, door of uh, Thrissius of Trithius. So I did do I, I've recorded a hour long let's try of doors the doors of Trithius, and it's a very strange game. Um, I say it's strange because like. <sighs> I, I have mixed feelings about it. Um, 
it has some it definitely has some caves of cud in it but i mean it's a traditional roguelike so it's hard for me not to compare it to, to caves of cud but the major things that um you know seem to me that that uh, the doors of thrithius trithia uh, trithius sorry uh a compare is that it has an overworld um and it's it's kind of an open world traditional roguelike and that sounds like it's straight up my alley and it is um but there's interesting things about doors of trithius that I, I feel like hold it back a little bit i really like it in some ways and in other ways i'm like Ugh. Ugh. have you checked out goddamn the garden um Hold on. Uh, what? Yes. Yes, I did. I, I picked this up. Uh, we can play this today. I need to send you my developed games. Uh, oh, wow, pun was not intended. It's a dirt cheap right now. We all steam fanboys. Uh, so yeah, we, I did pick this up and I, yeah, we can, we can play it today. Um, Potion Craft is also really good. Potion Craft is really good. I just don't think it, that it is a good, um, it's not good YouTube material. It's a good game to play on your own. Um, and, uh, I really like it. I'm, I, I hope that, um, they do a bit more on it, but, um, you know, sorry, I'm a 10. I know I'm stealing a little bit from, uh, from library room when we're, we're gonna get to it i i just uh i'm, I'm a little bit uh, i'm excited about some of the stuff that i think that um you're all gonna we're, we're gonna have some fun with um i'm actually really interested I, I could do this today this is a fairly short game um babdi my my buddy shen um shouted this game out and i was very interested in it it looks really weird and i think that 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 makes it a very good candidate for stream um, I'm actually really excited. I haven't opened up this game yet, but this this one looks I, I like It always blows my mind when I find something like this on Steam. I'm like, how have I not heard of this? This looks so cool um, It's like a planetary exploration game. It almost has some like Amanita design looking graphics, but you like have to find like gravitational um, kind of turns and stuff and uh, explore worlds and stuff. It looks so charming like i i this blew my mind I'm like how have i not heard of this game it lo has such a look to it so i was i was like yeah that's the, the moments like that is what i love about um you know the the indie kind of games industry i'm like you know I, I, every day is a opportunity to find something really cool um this is a game i'm really looking forward to playing with you chat uh this is a very narrative based game um about it's kind of, i feel like it's kind of open world a little bit but it's a it's a very like um narration based game uh, with some like rpg elements and it's got some really cool it's got a really cool art style first of all and i've been hearing very good things about it like people have been raving about this game so i'm i'm i'm, I'm actually really excited about that one um this is another one that I think that chat would like. I think that, uh, you know, I've been trying to get a bit more wholesome with stream, uh, hence like stuff like spirit fair, but you know, like I, I want to get, I want to do more wholesome stuff. So this one looked really uh, cute to me and, uh, it, it apparently has a very good storyline. Um, so I, I'm interested in that. Um, I, so I got, I got SpongeBob, um, because crash four was kind of a disappointment to me. So I'm, I have never played this game. I've heard good things about it, uh, and I, I'll check it out. This is another one I think that um, this is this is to make up for maybe for um, Daggerfall. I didn't I didn't play a lot of Daggerfall, but maybe we can try this because <laughs> it looks kind of fun. Um, I'm, I'm a huge Grimrock fan, so I, I like I like them dun dungeon crawling games. I have um, by the way, I have installed Stalker. Uh, the original stalker and a uh quality of life overhaul patch it's still something i'd like to do i don't know like i might put it up for a vote one more time but if no one's interested in it then i i'll, I'll just play it on my own uh and that's you know don't, don't no worries no no resentment there um but it's it's a game i think i, I have to play 
and I, I would like to play it with um, with chat, but you know, I understand that it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, this is another one that I'm really excited to try to stream. This looked really strange. This is like one of those very strange games. Like I love finding these like bizarro narrative games with with a art style because I feel like these are just like some of the best games to stream because like I mean I just like look at it it looks so it looks good it's just it's got a look to it and it's got a really interesting story hook which I will not spoil now uh you can always pause the stream I suppose and check it out yourself or just look up the game it's called mutation um so yeah and I I've got a couple of other uh, you know bits and bobs here but a lot of games with stream in mind um i have been enjoying stream um I, i've been enjoying streaming and i'd like like i say i'd like to do more one-off streams where it's like it's just the one game um so it might be that i do that for some of these games like some weekend streams you can change your saved launch option oh okay thanks steam appreciate that bud appreciate that all right um have you checked out? Okay, Potion Craft is also good. It's fine, Big I was, I was also stalling a bit because I know I'm going to get my ass kicked when playing this game. I am very excited to watch you play these games. So many games. You should really try West of Loathing and or Shadows Over Loathing if you want hilarious RPGs. Um, so I have played West of Loathing and in fact, <laughs> um, fun, like, uh, what do you call these? Like, uh, trivia. Fun trivia. Fun bimple lore trivia. I've actually streamed West of Loathing. I've, ins I've streamed the entire game, in fact. Um, it was back before I was streaming on YouTube, uh, back when I was on Twitch. And um, I was, I was you know, I, I streamed a lot more games and I streamed the entire West of Loathing game. And um, I like it. Uh, I wouldn't say I love West of Loathing, it's fun. Um, but uh for me i don't know it takes a very specific kind of humor to make me laugh and uh west of loathing um was amusing but uh never really uh i i, I wouldn't say it, it it didn't really ever have me i don't know hooked uh the gameplay is ob very obviously not what you come to west of loathing for it's it's uh, very much about its writing and the writing is good. Don't get me wrong. It's just like I didn't get The thing out of that game that I think that a lot of people did um, And it is long. It's super long and I think that that uh, that's I wouldn't say It, it put me off of it. I, I would even consider streaming West of Loathing again I think it would be fun to do it again um, for YouTube, but I think that uh, once you've seen West of Loathing um, you kind of get the joke and I don't know if anyone would want to see that because it is a fairly older game. I missed the entire West of Loathing stream. <laughs> yes, it's gone. Thanks for deleting that egg. What? Uh, you should try West of Loathing. I missed the entire West of Loathing stream. All right. Uh, there's a also there's a good reason why I'm stalling a little bit. I'm a ten. Um. We have to we have to do some of these floors and that means I'm gonna get my ass absolutely floored um, it, It's not gonna be a necessarily a fun uh, a, a Library of ruin a stream today because I, I have to do some of these floors and it's gonna be brutal um, I'm just gonna kind of jump into some of them because I, I, I need to figure out what the gimmick is before I can um, you know plan accordingly and uh, yeah, um, so I, I, I'm gonna try and figure it out chat. I really am gonna try today um, We're gonna we're, I'm gonna figure this out loyalty target the, the last foe That attacked the Queen Bee in the previous scene Balling embrace of death if the Queen Bee's HP falls to 20% or below attacks her what? Balling embrace of death. So when the queen bee is about to die the the other bees will kill her So does that mean that um, I was just thinking like should I kill these worker bees first? You got this pimple. I appreciate you lying for me <laughs> on my, on my, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you meant that Mimesis. I'm just kidding um, If the character was attacked inflict one spores on all librarians 
at the start. Of, so we have mushroom bees. Uh, okay. Prana, pranatalism. If there are two or fewer worker bees alive at the start of the scene, inflict two spores on all librarians. If a librarian dies while under the influence of spores, spawn a worker bee next scene. And then pheromones uses pages that boost the aggression and loyalty of worker bees every three scenes. I suggest doing the top right story first. Leave second from right. Invite for later. Then do abnos. Okay. Okay, I could do that. Well, okay, I'm a ten. It looks to me like this um, abno would would a is actually a very good. Um, it looks like it would be a good candidate for the the firing squad. Am I wrong? What do you think about Slay the Spire and Inscription? I love Slay the Spire and I love Inscription. I will admit, I. I like Monster Train more than Slay the Spire. I I know that this that's a weird one, but um and sorry I'm a tan. <laughs> we're talking deck builders now. This is like this is uh today this is a I'm a tan's personal abnormality floor. He has to conquer um the trauma of listening to deck building games. And of course watching me play this game, which is always a trial. Um okay, so we should do the rightmost top right story invite first okay we're gonna do that um yeah i really like slay the spire i haven't really i didn't play it to like i didn't play it into the ground like a lot of people did have i done this story the train has arrived it will be a let's see what kind of mess okay yeah i think we watched this and i did this build from that invite can work on any floor and can be swapped around the floors i'm actually I actually don't know about the firing squad. Interesting idea. Feel free to try it. Okay. Because, like, uh, it seems to me as soon as I kill the queen bee, we're pretty much done. And I, I don't know how many um, cards they had for defense, but we'll see. Uh, on a successful hit, deal 10 damage at 10. Okay. Um, so we get two floors. We get two floors. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and probably go with... Um, uh, Yasad? Is this Yasad? Yes, it, this is Yasad. I like Yasad. So, uh, you know, I like the smooth brain, uh, floor. Uh, no surprises there. Yeah, I, I really like Slay the Spire. I think that Monster Train is more my kind of game, and I'm not even sure why, but I just enjoyed it more. Um, I just ended up enjoying it more. I'm, I, I don't know. Okay, gain 10 charge and become immobilized next scene. Dimensional sections on a successful hit, deal 10 bonus damage. Okay, so these guys are very basic. Um, they're not they're not super special. Um, okay, so let's let's turn this on. Let's just go ahead and conflict. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to use up. We have a we have card draw. Oh, you know what? My uh, my sensitivity on my mouse is down. So you might have noticed I do play um, Insurgency, and I know most people probably don't even know what game that is. But it's it is a uh, t it's a tactical shooter. I, listen, I have varied tastes. It's a uh, you know, I am I am a person of many tastes uh, when it comes to games, and I do have a group I play with on on Mondays, and I. Uh, I have been playing pretty dedicatedly. I was going to share my Steam stats. So, like, Steam did um, their, like, Spotify Unwrapped. Um, they did basically the equivalent of Spotify Unwrapped, where you get to see all of the time you wasted. Remember, it's time isn't wasted if you had fun. Um, but, y yo, uh, at a certain point, I think that there is something to be said that at a certain point it's like you spent a lot of time playing games yo you just you did you absolutely spent probably far too many too much time playing games i mean like i'm trying to do this for uh business purposes so uh, you know uh, there's something to be said there but not much i like insurgency really fun game with the right people yeah i agree you know the thing i like about insurgency um a lot okay what are these these guys are locked. Um, cannot act for the duration of the scene. St status ailment. Did I do that? I don't think I did that. Um, 
I, uh, I, I, I appreciate that Insurgency is a co-op, cooperative game. You know, like, it's, it's weird to, to, you know, it's weird these days to see, like, a, a hard, or, t like, a serious kind of tactical shooter that is cooperative. You know? Um, that's the weird thing to me. Like, there's so many, like, super AAA shooters that come out all the time. Um, but so many of them are like very confrontational like adversarial kind of games like, you know Got a the very PvP based is really all I'm saying Welcome Zagil. How are you doing Zagil? Insurgency is 50% off at the moment. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything is Except the RimWorld game uh, DLCs, so I, I do probably this year. I, I, I know that it's been a while. I want to do another Dwarf Fortress stream I want to do some more Dwarf Fortress streams. It's really just that it was the holidays I could, probably would have done one over the weekend um, If not for the fact that it was the holidays and you know, I, I had I had stuff I, I wanted to do and uh, stuff I, I you know, had to do of course um, It's the holidays um, <laughs> I Don't think anyone's gonna begrudge me that uh, I'm really just kind of explaining um, but I, I do want to do some more Dwarf Fortress streams, but I also kind of I think this this year I want to do some more I want to do RimWorld streams as well um, I'm kind of interested in doing some RimWorld streams. I think it would would be fun um, And now like I I've you know now that I understand Dwarf Fortress a little bit more I think that there are reasons to play RimWorld um, You know even if you have played and, in, and really enjoy Dwarf Fortress. So, but you know, it's, it's uh, interesting to me to see the influence and then uh, also like think back on the games that are, have been influenced. Right now I'm doing nothing but consuming Death Stranding, that game. Uh, so I have Death Stranding and I, I was also wondering if at some point I should stream that game, but it's another really long game and I don't know if it's necessarily good streaming content so it was something I was going to um, uh, kind of put forward to, to chat. How do you feel about uh, Death Stranding? Also, uh, I, I know I'm just like throwing everything at the wall right now. Uh, how do you feel about Disco Elysium? I, this came up a little bit a while ago. And um, I know like some people are interested in Disco Elysium because they want to play it. And so therefore it's not a good, it's not a game that they would want to watch me play. And I completely understand that. Um, if you don't know, Disco Elysium is, uh, it's a very heavily narrative game, um, and it's, it's a hard one to explain, but it's a kind of game you can only play once, as I understand it. I haven't played it. I've been, I've been holding, uh, saving it for a rainy day, um, and I'm just wondering if it's something that, uh, you know, should I save it for stream or should I just kind of go ahead on my own? RimWorld and also Door Fortress was uh, really good. I'm doing nothing but consuming Death Stranding. Disco Elysium is an incredible story. I've he I've heard nothing but good things. Okay, I'm just gonna pea brain this now. Death Stranding looks chill. Haven't seen actual gameplay yet. So uh, the thing about Death Stranding is you have to kind of treat it like a truck simulator. Um, by which I mean that the, the you know, um, truck simulator, if no one's played truck simulator, I'm sure there's someone in chat who has because it's a surprisingly popular game. Um, but um, with this kind of game, I mean, it's not so much about the gameplay. It is about the progression and the chill vibes. Um, you know, and that's, the, I think that's the case for Death Stranding. Death Stranding is if you took a game like Truck Simulator and gave it a very melodramatic story. Uh, and I mean that in a good way. Um, that's my impression. I haven't actually played it yet, so it's, you know, that's fair to say. Um, okay, so I didn't switch up. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't give Rhett... I didn't give Rhett a card, so we actually don't have Firing Squad available right now. Um, who has Firing Squad? Does anyone have Firing Squad? Oh no. I think I messed this up. Is top snoozing material for me. Love Disco. I think the writing and humor can make it work. Also, it is 
an a actually uh, actually a replayable game next you are at the top of a vista on a motorcycle and like damn this is great uh i looked up death stranding it kind of looks like you get a really nice backpack <laughs> Uh, one hour you are absolutely hating that you have to lug something across the river and then get sucked down it and hate yourself for losing everything. Euro Truck Simulator, yeah. There is combat, but yeah, I call it Extreme American Door Dash Simulator. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm going to be doing here. Oh man, I didn't... This We have a nugget here that we haven't given a... I don't think I even have another... Um, Okay, it looks like maybe Team Hod could get away with this. So what does uh, Rose do? If speed is 4 or higher, deal 13 bonus bonus damage on successful hits. On successful hit, deal 13 bonus stagger damage. On successful hit, deal 10... Wow, she just does a lot of damage. Everyone does really good damage. Um, I have heard that there's combat in Death Stranding. I have also heard that the combat is very limited. Um, well, this isn't great. I guess I'm going to use Team Roland anyway, but this is dumb. I'm Death Stranding is, is will fix my, the, the, the thing that holds me back from uh, doing, um, Death Stranding is actually, um, that it's just very long. It's a very, very long game. Uh, and I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. I'm going to gauge and see how uh, how this goes. And if it goes badly, then I may just um, undo this. Give two protection. Okay, we'll do that. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, poor rat. Rat's going to get absolutely stomped. Oh, whatever. Is Yasad out of the game? Uh, Yasad is the first group I use. It's the only one that has an actually set up. Like, wow. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and, and bail out of that and actually set up our cards properly. Uh, I'm going to set up um, Firing Squad. I don't know why Firing Squad was... Uh, was was down that really sucks where is firing squad man where where did i get where is firing squad how far back is firing squad? Is it is it Lyway's page? No. I don't even know where which like which what what which one is firing squad called? No, this is too far back. This must be too far back. Is it? Yeah, this is this is far too far back. Uh no. No fight is lost until you run out of the HP. You'll be surprised how often you can clutch the fights here. Okay. Oops. People either absolutely adore Death Stranding or absolutely hate it. There's no in between. And it's entirely possible to go from one to the other and back in one sitting. <laughs> Weird. Um, I actually, I mean, I, my, uh, my old roommate, um, is a, is a huge fan of Kojima and, uh, Metal Gear and pl played it. And they were like, I love this game. I love this game. They're playing Death Stranding, uh, all the way up until the end. And then they're like, this game's garbage. But to be fair, they did that with a lot of games. So I never really held their opinion in games to my, to very high standard. You get a huge emotion boost. That means you get more abnos and buffs. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sure I did know it at one point. I don't know where t um, Team Firing Squad is. 
Gotta love the Darth dearth of search bars in this game. There's a search for it, but I don't know what it's called. Hard to uh hard to look up something when you don't know what it's called, you know? What are these? Stay calm. Um. Damn, I cannot find it. It's not these. Sorry, chat. Um, give me a second. It might be these. No, I feel like the no. These are razor strike. Those are those are sharp. Should just be an urban plague. I'm still a little bit sick, chat. These aren't it, are they? No, they're not it. I usually locate them by selecting the game stage. I got the stuff from like firing squad should be unicorn tier. straight up cannot find them I don't know where they are <sighs> never mind it's the virus one this is uh you know I I I, uh, I am cognizant of the fact that no one likes to watch you um search for stuff in a game and I spend a lot of time searching for this is why I don't build new like sets in this game so I always end up looking um paralysis I would have thought they would be like in this set but they're not oh are these them no fence no those aren't it are these them I'm not seeing oh blind fire uh where does it say what if they're ranged or not even ah there we go here they are tamakis okay all right so let's um let's let's swap this out so where is lieways these uh apparently i'm using these for something else god damn it i just i just bailed on it sorry chat this is going to be a little bit boring for a bit uh revert attribution so apparently i put lieways page on someone else and i didn't mean to do that i don't know um okay all right so let's look for one that has the cards on them i should just use uh, uh hmm. okay yeah we're gonna use steven's page here we go I'm gonna first I'm gonna equip them and then I'm gonna figure out everything else Okay, so then it's this one Tamaki's page And then Another Tamaki's page Watching the card building is chill, but is the toughest battle in the game Hello look guns. I, uh, I was looking for guns. They were not they were not turning up you are using them for guns. They were part of the firing squad. Watching that you are using them. Okay. Well, I'll have to put them back on again. All right. And now Rat gets a gun. Give Rat a gun. Okay. And we're going to give them another Tamaki's page. And we'll also... Um, we're just going to go ahead over here. Load. Uh, shooty booty. There we go. I don't think I've gotten any new shooty booty cards, right? No new shooty booty. I wonder if I can add mod, add my own music in uh, DS, like in Death Stranding. So, um, Fauster, are you excited for Death Stranding 2? Would love to do a few deliveries to once in a lifetime. Oh, hey, now they are an actual firing squad for nuggets. Yeah. Okay, now we have to set up their passives.
so obviously we're gonna add this don't worry i'm gonna add more passives than uh than just the than the basic ones i i will do that promise do do lieways page i guess they're done the so roland uh did i actually put it in concentration Uh, did I not set up concussion? Blunt dice power plus one. Uh, oh wait, I give them, I gave them a puppet. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Um, I don't know what kind of damage, what kind of da I guess it would be penetration, wouldn't it? Uh, it's not. It's okay. It's blunt. It's blunt and pen. Mostly penetration. So we'll we'll have to give them a penetration passive. We can totally do that. Um, let me just finish uh, setting up the rest of the nuggets first. Give two one strength to two random allies. These are good. Uh, successful blunt attack inflict one fragile. These are these are actually really good. Um, I think uh, I think that was these, these were Imatan's suggestions. You give valid shooting cards and builds in the next story tier. Okay. Would love to do a few deliveries. Okay, you have. Um, all right, so now I just need to set up this lad. So we're going to give them um, concentration. Why not? And then what I'm going to look here is for blunt. And we can set them up with a Meow Meow's page. That's actually perfect for them because uh, they're going to need a speed. And um, I'll just... Go ahead and give them uh, meow meow and improve drumming. I think that's probably fine. So I think we're good now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think all of these nuggets are, are actually good. They all have uh, extra speed. I guess um, this one could we could do better than concentration, but um, you know it's it's still fine. I'm ecstatic. I heard the story was kind of click cliff hangary so knowing two is coming is what uh pushed me to play a ton more of one also kojima could make a game about a singing turd and i'd still play it it's funny how the like there's there's kind of two sides of the kojima coin it's like i hate him but i play everything he has and i love him but you know and, and i also play, <laughs> play everything he's made mm. all right so let's try this again. Um, Yasad is still set up, right? Yasad, yeah, we're good with Yasad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the, the do this the same as I did before. Is um, I'm gonna do the first phase with um, Team Yasad, and then second phase will be firing squad. Mr. Hanky, a video a Hideo Kojima game. Main strength of firing squad is just. Is first turn bursting down build from that? Yep. Okay, team Yasad. I uh, I am like, uh, I'll I'll say this. I've never played any, um, I've never played any Metal Gear Solid game ever. Uh, okay, I, I, I tell a lie. Um, I have played a Metal Gear Solid game before, uh, but it wasn't under very good circumstances. Uh, it was one of those circumstances, and I'm sure um, I'm sure you you can relate, chat. I don't know if you've ever been in the situation where uh, you have a friend who insists that a game is very good, and uh, that may be very true. Um, it may be that the game is amazing. Uh, but they're so insistent on it that uh, they kind of drive you away from it You know what I mean and uh, you end up in a situation where like you almost feel judgment on On your back for not having played it yet. What do you mean? You haven't played Metal Gear yet. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece. It's fantastic um, It's the best game ever made and you know the the, the more the stakes are raised um, the more, uh, at least this is true for me, um, and I'm sure it's true for others as well. Uh, at a certain point, it's just like, there's no way that this game can live up to the expectations that you have raised. 
and so I by default I'm not going to enjoy it and uh, when it came to actually playing it and they insisted on like me playing it basically in front of them um, I didn't play the game the way they wanted me to you know I, uh, I, I kind of like derped around a little bit uh, you know kind of I did not play the game exactly the way they wanted me to, which um, is another great circumstance I'm sure people have found themselves in is, uh, you know, like, well, uh, I kind of want to just like figure things out, you know, shoot some baddies, whatever. No, you got to go in and stealth. You got to you got to creep in. You got to shoot the beehive. Shoot the beehive. Got to shoot the beehive. Why aren't you shooting the beehive? And, and at a certain point, I was like, okay, well, you're done. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so that's, uh, th that is, a, that is what put me off the Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, a shame, I've heard that they're very good. And I would like to give them an honest to goodness try. I also have fairly, um, poor experience myself. This is a personal thing, but poor experience with stealth games. I tend to not be very good at stealth games. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that, but uh, I won't uh, necessarily get into that right away. But yeah, I, you know, I, I would like to play Metal Gear someday. Uh, Merry belated Christmas and holidays to you, Dust. Yo, happy belated. Oh, what did everyone, uh, you know, not that gift giving is necessarily the norm for everyone, um, but if you did get something for Christmas or ho the holiday, um, whichever one you celebrate, what'd you get? Did, did, uh, did you get something like, what, what is like one noteworthy thing that you did or receive or even gave, gave out? What did you give people? You know, let's, uh, let's hear some holiday stories in chat. I, I got, um, some really nice slippers cause, uh, my, my feet get cold. What's happening here? Am I, did I just pee brain it without even realizing? What, what is happening? I, I, did I pee brain it without even thinking about it? Um, I got some slippers, which I'm really happy about. I actually, I also got a, um, uh, like a, uh, a, a hot beverage tumbler. It's like a very large um, kind of thermos cup, which I am drinking my coffee out of right now. And it's great for stream because it's big enough for two cups of coffee uh, and it keeps my drink very nice and hot. Well, warm. I, uh, I microwaved my coffee today, so, you know, middling uh, kind of experience here. Hold on, uh, like when a comedian is introduced as the funniest person and then the crowd is like, oh yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, even though I love M MGS, I've always thought the gameplay was backseat to the characters and story. Only MGS5 has actually great gameplay, IMO. And that's funny because um, Faust, I've only ever heard from MGS fans that the story of MGS5 is is the worst of the series i'm not saying that myself that's only what i've heard uh, you can confirm or deny um, or even just give your share your opinions on it i hate other mgs fans who swear the gameplay is top tier when it's at best snes level <laughs> well i mean snes is pretty good all kojima games the entire metal gear so series is fun but stupid kojima is too schizophrenic for the stories he wants to tell to ever be fully coherent or serious uh, I love his games due to how bad shit they are and the emotional beats, but he's really good at making you learn and feel something. I get, I got a meme sent to me. Don't marry Christmas. Marry me, you dumb frick. Funniest meme I got this year. Oh, I see. I get it. Nice uh, navigating the uh, shadow banning there. The games are not good except three and five. It's the stories that really sell them. 2 gets a lot of praise too. It's still SNES gameplay when you boil it down, but the story is uh, in 2 is still so unhinged in the second act. It will always be one of my favorite games. You're kind of selling it to me, uh, Faust, honestly. This is what P does to your brain, kids. 
the P is stored in the brain. I think I already made that joke, but I don't care. It's good. This is what playing Yasad too long does to your brain. Yeah, first generation gen PlayStation was basically a SNES Plus. Five has a terrible story, but the best gameplay. Tactics Ogre is on PlayStation and SNES. Same game, no loading time on SNES due to cartridge instead of CD disc. Yo, are we still talking about, uh, are we still like <laughs> console warsing PlayStation and SNES? Um, like freaking, uh, wait, those are different generations. Two decades? Chad, it's been almost two decades since the PlayStation 1. It's been almost two decades. Not to make you feel old or nothing, but... Um, so we're gonna firing squad this uh, character here. This is gonna mean we don't have a lot of... Um, we don't get to fire a lot of stuff. Oh, this we can only do one. We might as well go for the bullseye here and then. I guess you don't get to clash. That's the that's the weird thing about uh, ranged, right? Is ranged doesn't get to clash, right? Or am I wrong about that? No, it does. I'm just wrong. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, yes. Yo. This is fine. We just took out the biggest threat. Not to make you feel old or nothing, but you are old. I'm 33. I'm not that old. I want to I I I I take I want to fight back against this conspiracy that uh, you once you're once you turn 30 you just die. <laughs> you just you don't even die. You're you're just a walking corpse that's already rotting on the streets. I I I am I'm I will push back against this. I only mean SS, NES gameplay and the games are not getting around breaking in anyway. It's crazy people will say MGS1 has better gameplay than something like Safe and Filter. I've never played Safe and Filter, but I did own it at one point. Um Whoa. Ooh, that was wild. Okay, um, I really should be focusing like one person here. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, like I can just like throw all of my attacks on one character because if they die, then the attacks bleed over to other enemies. So it's all good. There you go. Book of Sin obtained. Oof. No, that's fine. Wait, you're 33? Damn, Grandpa. I thought we were the same age. Don't know why. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I don't... Uh, I, I don't sound my age. And I definitely don't act my age, which is probably good. But, um, I, I won't... I won't lie, chat. I am kind of feeling the generational divide sometimes. A little bit. Like, I don't understand, um, you know, I, I, I have no, I feel no need to, like, do the whole TikTok thing, and, you know, I feel like, um, I've never been one to, like, be good at self-promotion and stuff like that, and I feel like in that sense, the new generation is, like, um, very different beast, like, uh, raised on, on a different kind of, uh, I won't say mentality, like, I don't want to talk down in any way, like, it's, it's not like it's, um, worse or anything like it's it's just a different way of thinking um, you know like I was ready I, I this is gonna sound crazy but like and it's like the equivalent of like my you know it's the equivalent of saying to you 
I remember when the car was invented. I remember when the internet was like kind of a novel concept. Like, why did no one else attack? Okay. Um, you know, like when I got internet in my room, it was like kind of a game changer, you know? And when I say the internet, I'm not talking about like, you know, social media. I'm talking like at, at that point in my life, it was like, yo, I get to go to a website. I've been hearing about these things called websites. Yo, dude. <laughs> Only it was like tiny, like eight to 12 year old me. So instead of yo dude, it was like, yay. You know, uh, I only mean, uh, three to five managed to break that curse and why three is considered the best in the series. Cause it has great gameplay and the trademark amazing story. Uh, I'd say you were still in your prime. Yeah. Well, my prime is kind of moldy. <laughs> I grew up with a rotary telephone. I'm afraid of the generation of kids that grew up watching those kids videos. Oh, you mean like a uh, Coco Melon? <laughs> if I do any more than that, then, uh, then the melon comes to my house and breaks my kneecaps. Attacks don't bleed over. Apparently not. I, I've learned that now, and uh, apparently I'm 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 even worse at this game than I realized. I enjoy your, your humble content way more than even the, the the even the top TikTokers. I appreciate that. That, that means a lot. You know, there's nothing. Uh, no, no judgment for anyone who watches TikTokers and stuff like that. I imagine if people like Pilot Red Sun cared about self-promotion content wouldn't be the same oh who's that no red died you're right red died, did die i'm sorry if this book does become available to the public w corp might face closure like lobotomy corp did though it would collapse in an entirely different way i know this is an odd time to ask but about the plan that took place in lobotomy corporation the one that made you go through countless repeats was l corp's uh, disintegration part of it too in a way, the finale of a plan of that plan was to share the enlightenment gained from that cycle with the people of the city, sacrificing El Corp as a whole. El Corp's insane suicide plan succeeded somehow, huh? No, the plan failed spectacularly. Actually, I ruined it. What? But didn't the White Nights and Dark Days happen as a result of? I never said the plan was a success, now did I? I only said it was over. What do you exactly mean by ruining it? Remember what I said about my creator? How he birthed me on a whim and renounced me when I didn't meet his arbitrary expectations? The sabotage was my modest little revenge on him for imprisoning me in the million year cycle of reciting the same script over and over, underground, and a small gift for myself. I couldn't bear to see his plan succeed with my two eyes. That means the distortion might not have happened if the plan went through. Pilot Red Sun is an animator. I guess I mean my favorite content is usually made by people who just want to make it with no real ulterior motive than creating something. Yeah. I I, I know what you mean. I I, I I it has to has it has a lot to do with um how uh, content is made with a genuine uh, or uh, authenticity. I think that's what is um what attracts you, Zigiel. A random out of nowhere question, perhaps? There's no need for me to care so much about others in the city, no? You're right about that. We have even more. Uh, oh wait, no, these are the same. I, for some reason I thought I just did an abno floor. Um, so I'm a 10, I, I got the, let me burn those books. Okay, so these are fresh books. That means if they have highlighted numbers, that means that those they have those um, pages to offer me, right? Right? And with my mod installed, um, that should mean that if I get even one of each of these cards, that means I have infinite of those cards, right? So all I care about is the key page 
and getting one of each of those other pages. Compared to I made this only to have a chance to get famous. For me, I don't I don't care so much about fame as I, might, I do about like I, I enjoy what I do and I would like to do it for um, I would I would like the ability to do it <laughs> period hard stop really like uh, you know like I talk about building the channel and I feel a little awkward doing it because it, it is not something I'm really comfortable with is the idea of like well I have to promote myself um, but really all it means is like that that affords me the opportunity to do what I enjoy doing more I want to do what I do more that's it Okay, so I have one of each of these cards and these, but this one I still have, I still need rip space. So I'm going to go ahead and burn like 20 of these. Charge build. Um, who am I adding that charge build to, I'm a 10? Like, what is a good floor that, okay, we got rip space, good. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah, you have a genuine edge to you. Nothing seems forced compared to other streamers. In the same reason I fucks with Jerma. Yeah, Jerma's a weird beast, isn't he? Jerma is, uh, is, a like, a person who, like, I hate to say it deserves their, like, I, I don't, I don't want it. Sorry, I don't hate to say that he deserves success, but he deserves to be famous because clearly what he does is something that has like some kind of I'm you know, albeit deranged creative flair like he clearly has um a passion for for making something weird and I have to I have to really respect that don't use overcharge yet it's a really crappy card with high numbers but heavy negatives charge work on any floor that's why you can just swap around the floors while doing abnos okay all right, well, let's um, let's find a floor like um, a floor with four. So we're going to set up Kevbo, uh, the team Kevbo, <laughs> um, with this charge build that you've got. Uh, just for now, I know they've got a they've got a, uh, a good page. I forget how to unequip them in a uh, non evasive way key page equipped page there we go um no this isn't really it man i just want to unequip their key page it's astounding to me how difficult that is i guess i should just equip the new page that's what i should do okay um charge build Make sure you have two dice and put whatever passives that would work. Um, so I'm going to assume... Okay, there's four sends page, so I'm going to start with Sen. I'm going to go ahead and equip them all with Sen for now. Okay. I've been watching Jerma since TF2 days. It still boggles my mind that he used to be Star's sidekick and then Star went whiny nuts and Jerma hit the, the big time. You can fight Yas uh, Yasad Abno you already set on Yasad. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, you know what? Actually, let me set it. Let me do your build first because uh, I don't like I, rather than pin it. I'd rather just set it up now. Is this the floor? No, it's it's this one, right? Yeah, okay. So, um, I have 99 rip space. I don't... I thought they, they only gave you one. So the fact that I have three of these is not good, right? Like, this is cheating, legitimately. Don't use overcharge. It's a really crappy card. Okay, so energy cycle... Uh, three energy cycles. Uh... Okay, energy cycle. Okay, three energy cycle. Um, one leap. Two, 
two-dimensional rift. One rip space. Three ripple. Uh, that's more, that's too many cards. That's too many cards. You don't have Rose page for some reason. Burn Rose book, you don't have her page yet. Uh, I don't think I got Rose. Was she the, uh, the main uh, antag? I don't, I didn't, huh, I'm a tan. I didn't get her book because, because uh, I, I think I killed her too quickly. You can get many rip space, but only use one. Gotcha. Because it's an orange page, right? There's a lot of uh, things in this game. Was Rose the main the main warp girl? Because I don't think I got her book, which means I have to do that. Um, that I have to do that floor again. I didn't get her book. Okay. Well, that means we gotta do this again. Sorry, chat. Uh, I am gonna do this again. It shouldn't take too long This is this uh, I knew this stream uh, th like today's stream was gonna be a bit of a cleanup Like there's a lot of stuff to do You killed her too fast, but she was she's dangerous y'all don't Can we can I just pee brain this don't don't judge me for pee braining this because I don't care if we uh like, I, 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 if your team you saw doesn't do super well, it's not a big deal. But just for the interest of uh, making this take less time and also be less of a grind. Hmm. So chat. Um, like I said, I, I was uh, kind of disappointed in Crash 4. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about... Like, Crash was my, my childhood. I know... It's it's a it's a weird one. Like I've I played a lot of platformers as a kid. Wow, that did not go well for Who is that? I can't remember who that is. But yeah, I like you ever play a game and it's a specific it's this is kind of a specific thing for sequels. But like uh, you know, you play a sequel a, a new sequel to a very old game. This is probably going to happen for something like um Armored Core 6 maybe. I hope not, because I'm hoping that that game is good. Um, but, like, you know, the game is good, TM. It's, like, good. It's, like, just good enough, basically. But, like, for me, um, you know, I don't know. I have a certain, like, uh, I don't know what I would, I don't know what to call it, really. It's not, like, a desire it's it's like I guess it's nostalgia. It's a nostalgia for a game. I played like rid for ridiculous number of hours as a kid um, In this context crash bandicoot like You know, I played all I played that game to death. I say that game. I played the first one the second one Third one not so much. I played a little bit of it. I enjoyed it But like I I hundred percented all of those games as a kid and I enjoyed the absolute heck out of all of them and um so, you know, like, I don't know what to, how, like, it's not disappointment. It's not really the, t the word I would use to describe uh, my feeling. Um, when it comes to, like, a sequel for a, a beloved series or franchise. Um, it's more like, I don't know. I just, like, it's just not good enough. Or it's, it doesn't have that feeling. Like, the new Crash is not bad in any sense. It's a good game. But I'm just like playing it. And I'm like, even though they tried as hard as they could to recapture the feeling of those old games, it just didn't, it just doesn't line up. It doesn't, it's not, it didn't fall into place for me. And maybe I'm very picky about something very simple. You know, it's like if Nintendo tried to come out with, you know, Super Mario Bros. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers. I mean, that's a good example because like, I think that th those are good games. But maybe they don't, um, 
you know, they don't really... It's, it's impossible to recapture the magic that went into a game that you enjoyed as a, as a, as a kid. Because, like, it's, you know, it's a different world we live in. And also, you remember a game differently, you know? You do remember a game differently than how it actually is. Like, if I went back and played Spyro, like, the original Spyro, or even the original Crash Bandicoot. If I went back and played the original Crash Bandicoot, I was like, wow, I mean, this game looks bad. Um, and I mean, it does, but I probably still really enjoy it. Main minus for you is P-Braining is not recommended on charge decks. Main deck things is playing cards that gain charge, then spending that charge afterwards with charge spending cards. Well, I, I would like to say, give myself a little bit of credit, um, I'm a tan, as I have been a bit better about P-Braining. Um, even with Team Yasad, I am trying um, harder to, to actually pay attention. I am not paying super attention right now, but I'm also playing Firing Squad, so who cares? Um, so yeah, she just absolutely annihilated that character. Rip Space should be called Rip Space because of how much damage it deals when you are on 10 charge. So I am trying not to kill Rose right away. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna be able to kill two different characters here with one character. I There's no way I can stop her from absolutely destroying Imatan, so I'm just not gonna bother. Let's just go ahead and go for it here. And uh, Rhett, Rhett is gonna start uh, hitting Rose. That's, that's odd. I loved Crash 4. What did you get disappointed about? It's an interesting question. I can't really put my finger on it exactly, but let me try and um, explain Zagale. Uh, first of all, I really have to underline this part because it's a, it's a easy to um, get kind of um, misunderstood here. Though I am ultimately... I, I didn't enjoy Crash 4. I still think it's a good game. Um... I refunded it not because I not because I, I don't like the game it's just that I didn't like it enough that it, it didn't have the feeling that I was looking for from a crash game um, so first of all and again let me just preface sorry I have to do this all of these are like purely just my feelings and opinions on the game and not really like objective reflections they're not um they, they're just like purely like it, it's it's all bs but um i personally think it was a mistake to give crash all of the abilities that he earned from the previous games so let me explain what what i mean by that and for the people who aren't crash fans i'm sorry but you know i'm gonna be talking about this for a little bit um in Crash Bandicoot 1, it was very much a straight shooter platformer. Uh, Crash didn't really have a lot of abilities. He basically didn't have any abilities. It was just very much, um, you know, jump and spin. That was his basic attack. And uh, it worked. Crash 2, they gave him a couple of abilities. They gave him the ability to slide and jump um, at the end of slide and crawl and stuff like that. So a little bit more. Did I get the book? Did I seriously not get the book? Oh, I got the book. Book of Rose. Um, in Crash 3, they, they really tried a lot to change up the format and they gave Crash Bandicoot just a ridiculous number of abilities. Um, they gave him the ability to like turbo spin and double jump and uh, gave him other stuff too, but like the main one for me is the double jump and Crash 4 builds on all of this stuff. And I think that was kind of a mistake because when you give Crash Bandicoot a double jump, um, it kind of messes with the level structure a little bit because it means that basically eh, almost anything is obtainable, which means that the level, the platforming is really annoying in my opinion, because like, Basically, almost every other platform that you jump for is made with double jump in mind, which means you're double jumping all of the time. And don't get me wrong, I love double jumping. 
that's i love it as a as an ability but when you build all of your levels with double jump in mind it gets really annoying that you're double jumping all of the time like every single platform every single secret you see every single little extra bonus crate on the screen you like have to get the absolute 100 percent mileage out of every single jump and it just it gets exhausting like you got to do your slide jump and then double jump and just and, and then spin at the very apex of your jump and it just gets to be a little bit annoying um for me <laughs> again so that's my first problem um my second problem is i think that the movement and platforming in crash 4 just doesn't flow very well like um you know crash 2 kind of nailed it with uh you know you had your slide and then your jump at the end of your slide was a leap and it came up very rarely where you know you were leaping um but it was a leap forward and that's really the thing that i recall is that you would slide and then you would leap and then you get some extra mileage out of your leap forward and crash 4 kind of messes this up a little bit because your slide goes into a jump and it's not a leap it's a jump it's a very hard thing to explain but basically like you slide forward and then you jump up and you get some extra mileage out of your jump but um it kind of means that you're you're stopping dead at the end of your slide and then you jump and it just feels bad to me it feels bad i don't like it <laughs> that's really all it is i just think it feels uncomfortable and stiff and uh and it makes me sad it's really all it is my only grape was the mask bits felt gimmicky that's the other thing is that yes the mask bits feel gimmicky and i don't necessarily mind a gimmick as long as it's um the level structure is designed in an intelligent way and they really tried and i you know chops for trying respect for trying and and it it feels genuine but it just didn't feel very good to me it didn't it didn't really add much to the format it just kind of convoluted the format and not in a in a fun way for me anyway i'm done talking about crash i know that was a lot but i had to get that like i was just like it just it was such a disappointment because for me i was really looking forward to like yes they finally done it the madmen the mad people they, they made a crash bandicoot 4 and i'm really looking forward to that and I was really looking forward to that. And it was just not what it was just not it. Um, so I'm a 10. Um, you gave you put too many ripples in your do I just like um, should I cheat something else? Or is this fine? Call the ambulance, but not for me. My only grape was a bass base. Rat did it. Good points. Um, okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to start deleting my old builds. I mean, zero is nothing. Yes. And we're going to call this charge build. That build is good. Okay. Uh, I have to save it because now I have to delete it because we're going to get rid of Sen and replace it with um, Rose. Rose's page. All right. Combat, load, charge build, import. Yes. Passives. Okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna look for charge. Here we go. If a character did not use any pages for a scene, gain one strength and endurance. This doesn't seem like a very good... Is this a, something I'm, I'm going to end up doing with this? Um, well, it looks like... I'll do it. So, I, so apparently I'm going to be playing no cards on in this uh, with this build. Um, what kind of attacks are we using? We're using pen, bash, uh, and slash. We're using everything. 
So we just need speed. Uh, speed and probably like extra strength. Extra strength Tylenol. Do, 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 do. I'm just, uh, I like to do, you know, cover the basics first and then uh, experiment afterwards. So I, I don't know. Am I using am I using this uh, refraction force reaction force on a successful hit? Deal ten bonus damage. Just put whatever on her heal restoration passives from sweepers is always a good idea. It's actually an amazing idea when fighting abnos. Right? Okay. Um, I forget what those are on. Blunt dice. Restore one light if current light is zero. That's kind of nice. Um, where, uh, who is that on? The passives that where you gain health and even stagger. I guess I can just look it up here. Um, health. Ah, it's these ones. Health hauler. When another character dies, defensive dice power plus one. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Whose pages are these on? I kind of don't want to take them from someone else. In my run, I put Rose on Chessed because they're both blue and then never took them off. Even when he was getting near one shot at the end of the game. Uh, I, I wish I could find out um, who who is currently using these. I guess I can do recover stagger. That's not bad. Re recover stagger is is just as good, I think, in some ways. We'll see. This might end up hurting me. Everyone was cross-dressing as a purple grandma. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, I never played the SpongeBob platformer. I've heard it's very good. I'm probably going to play that on my own. Liquefied Flesh. Defensive Dice. So I, I have two, di uh, two, two, I don't know, slots left for everyone, I think. Even the main one? No, I have more on this one. So let's just look for strength. Um, at the start of the scene, restore one light if current light is zero. I kind of like that. When using a combat page with a... With one non-counter die, the die gains plus two power and it yields twice as many emotion points in a clash. Would that be good, chat? Would that be a good um, bonus on this one? Because, like, I don't think there are any counter dice on this. Don't forget speed for not rose cards. Did I, I, I added the speed right away. That's why I do that, is so that I make sure that I add the basics. They all have speed. I kind of like restora respiration. Uh, slash inflict one bleed. Slash stagger damage. We could just add some of those. We do do some slash. I know it's not, it's not smart, but it's something. What is a skim prescript? Draw one more page at the start of the act. Sure, I, it's not great, but um, it's fine. 
You need one dice that isn't a counter for... So it doesn't mean, like, if you have any number of non... non-counter dice. It means if you only have one non-counter dice. Yeah, that's that's the thing about this game is like y you play any game with cards and and dice in it and you're like, oh cool Here's a combo. Uh, you you know any any card with one non counter dice That's like all of my cards because you're so used to like everything synergizing in a really like Straightforward way, right? But this game is like no uh, You need to look for this very specific kind of card that uh has a very specific kind of effect and then that synergizes range attack damage really these should all be on my firing squad am i wrong about that are these not actually passives for the the firing squad that six cost passive from index is actually pretty good Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, at the end of each scene, gain one strength at a 50% chance next scene. Sure, that sounds fine. Um, all right, are we almost done here? God, there's so much stuff to do. Okay, you know what? Res respiration. Fine. There are, they are for firing squad, but just aren't worth it. Really? You would think that that plus one strength for range combat would be good. Sorry about the coffee machine in the background. Also, chat. I have I have great news for you. Um, uh, next week, next Tuesday, is it like January third or something? Tuesday. Uh, there's gonna be a fire alarm test. Not not kidding. Isn't that fun? Okay. So uh, let's try the Abno with this setup. Just one range attack damage. Not worth two points at all. All you need to. At this point of the game is power damage will come in handy much later all right chat i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna read everything okay i'm gonna read absolutely everything and i'm gonna i'm gonna figure it out on my own okay all right all right here we go oh god gift prioritizes the target with the most amount of gifts in hand on the third scene, uses a powerful combat page that deals significant damage and gives three copies of gifts to its target before causing the user to self de What? The- Oh, I see. So these guys self-destruct. So they die. The character dies after using that page. Whoa. All right. Here comes the surprise present. If this character dies, a wee witch's friend is spawned next scene. If the character is killed before it can self-destruct... If the character is killed before it can self-destruct using the special combat page, the friend is spawned with 80% health. Uh, good luck, big. I believe in you. Well, that was a mistake. All right, I, I don't understand these guys yet, but I'll figure it out. Leatitia. Le Leatitia? Leatitia? I'll give you a gift. Prioritize is the target with the least amount of gifts in hand. Will you play with me? Block dice lose power by four times the number of gifts in the opponent's hand. You, you, got, you need to stop. The designers of this game need to stop. This is, this is more complicated than any Uwe Rosenberg game I've ever played. Being lonely is sad. If all other allies have died, all resistances change to fatal. Okay, that's the only thing I understand, is that I need to kill everyone else before I kill her. Maybe? Maybe? Um, because I, I, it seems to me that these guys, when they die, they spawn um, uh, new people. 
that I have to deal with. Uh, if this character dies, a wee witch's friend is spawned next scene. If the character is killed before it can self-destruct using the special combat page. Using the special combat page, the friend is spawned with 80% health. Okay, so um, I need to kill I need to kill these guys before they explode, is what I'm hearing. To then kill the next set of friends before uh, so so at a reduced HP. Uh and these guys are going to give me gifts. If I use the gifts, I die. Um, so that's not good. Uh, on the third scene, these guys are going to self-destruct. So I have to try and do as much damage to them before the third scene and hopefully kill them. Is that what I'm getting? And then uh, this character seems to be kind of whatever. Um, block dice lose power by four times... The number of gifts in the opponent's hand. What does that mean? Lose power by four times. Does that mean the more gifts I have, the 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 less defense she has? Is that what I'm getting? Good lord, this game. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Alright, now <laughs> I get to figure out my own cards because that is an entirely new thing. Um, Alright, so wait. Did, did What? Did bot not get... The cards? Wait, what? Okay. So, that's cool. I, uh... I did... I, yep. Mm -hmm. y yep. Yep, 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 yep. I did it. I, I certainly did do it, didn't I? I did. I, uh, I set up that combat. I knew I forgot. This is why I, I have to do cover all of the basics right away it's like okay i have to make the build then i have to share the build i gotta share it with everyone okay now i gotta set up a key page now i gotta make sure that all of the key pages have speed okay do that then set them up with their passives okay set them up with the basic passives that they all need okay now now i have like exactly a like a two point margin of error um that i can play with and, and actually experiment with all right, cool. Um, now, you know, like you gotta, there's so many boxes to check. It's kind of crazy sometimes. All right, we did it. Don't forget going unga bunga on the target. They don't want you to target works sometimes. Going unga bunga on the target. They don't want you to target sometimes or work sometimes. So are you saying like, if I just go for, um, for this doll, uh, might be the, the answer here. Well, let me experiment and then see if it works and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll just like, you know, my, my, honestly, my answer in this game is tend to just like conflict, just create conflict, you know? Um, uh, so what, what do we have here? On you spend three charge to boost power of all dice on this page by three. So yes, we are gaining charge on these, on these characters. So, um, some of these cards gain charge, gain one haste next scene, spend three charge to draw two pages. And some of these cards are going to use charge and some of them uh, gain charge. So this one on use gain three charge. So we're probably going to want to gain as much charge as possible. Exclusive page on use spend all charge has a charge times 9.9%. Why did you make it 9.9%? Why did, why do you got to do that? Just make it 10. Just make it 10. What are you doing? has a nine point I see it's because they didn't want if they made it 10 then it could it could potentially be 100% chance to succeed I see that's why they didn't make it 10 <sighs> okay all dice on this page gain plus eight power failure deal 20 damage to self okay so the more charge I have the more chance that this has this has to to succeed and the higher chance when this succeeds on clash win draw two pages if 10 charge was spent at once at plus two power so you only really want to use this if you have 10 charge is that is that what i'm getting here because it seems to me that this this card really only benefits if you have um Plus, oh, okay, no, never mind. Success, all dice on this page gain plus eight power. So it gains plus eight power on a success, but if I use 10 charge, then it gains an, an additional plus two power. 
Honest opinion on this game so far? I'll ask this again later when you unlock a major mechanic that makes combat much more fun. Um, my honest opinion of this game hasn't really changed. I really like it, and I think it has really, really compelling and interesting um, mechanics that are held back by horrible quality of life decisions. Is, is my honest opinion, and I honestly think that there is a language barrier thing going on here as well, um, because they're trying to explain very complicated mechanics that are probably not all that very complicated, but there's an extra added barrier of like someone had to translate this and explain it in an intuitive way, and something got lost along the way. And so sometimes it takes me like reading something three or four times before I like actually figure it out. But my opinion of this game is still that I, I do like it. Uh, I, I like it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be playing it still if I didn't find it like really compelling. Um, OK, so <laughs> I do think that um, sometimes the it is like very overly designed, but um, I kind of respect it. Sometimes I do wish it was <laughs> just a look just like one notch down. Just make it like slightly more smooth brain, please. Uncharge. Okay, so we're gonna use this. We're just gonna go ahead and conflict and um, We're gonna conflict with whatever and we're going to gain as much charge as possible. That's what we're doing uh, Gain three charge. Don't worry. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unga bunga this gain three charge Just gonna go ahead and conflict with everything and gain as much charge as possible I think that this is a good thing to do. Spend three charge. Gain one haste. Spend three charge to draw two pages. Well, that's not bad. We don't have to only gain charge. We can also spend some charge. And then gain three charge. Um, we'll go ahead and just conflict with some of these guys and then gain three charge. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, we're gaining charge. They're not doing too much damage right now, which is good. And actually, we're doing some really decent damage. And remember, these are just our like basic cards that are gaining us uh, like our, our resource. So the fact that we're actually doing any amount of damage right now is good. Slash dice gain one to three power take two to five stagger damage when a slash attack does not connect. This is fine because we only have one slash attack and it's our rip space. No, no, that's not true. We also have leap. That's fine. If speed is four or higher, deal 13 bonus damage. Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on. Also, don't forget reading their combat cards. Sometimes it's a problem. <laughs> God, I'm a tan. Uh, add a copy of gift to target's hand. Okay, so is this the... They're already adding gifts to my hand? This is if I don't conflict with it, right? If I if I win the clash, then I don't get gifts, right? And if I don't get gifts, then that's... Oh, we got some gifts. Explodes after two scenes, dealing 15 damage and inflicting one pitipat. The librarian dies if three stacks of pitipat accumulate, so I have to use these. Uh, if I use these, does it give... These seem to be fine. I thought that using these was bad. We don't have to use all of them. Um, like, I can use both of these on the next scene, maybe. So let's go ahead and build a bit more charge. I, I am trying my best to balance everything out. And it is quite a lot. Spend three charge to boost power of all dice on this page by plus three. Let's do that. Um, Cause we have some, some charge and we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and, I, I really just wanna kill these lads. And then we have leap, gain one next, uh, one haste, spend three charge to draw two pages. Well, we don't wanna spend our charge yet. Oh, we only have, we can only store nine. So you know what? Actually, maybe we should uh, do a, a rip space. Let's do that. We'll do a rip space on uh, the main baddie. And then, uh, do these happen? I've never understood this chat, but do these happen in sequence? Is it like this one and then this one? Because if that's the case, 
then I would like to use rip space, spend our charge, and then use our next turn to then gain some more charge. Please confirm or deny that that is actually how that works. Um, because I, I, I'd like to actually like play properly. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and gain some more charge and we can start to hit the baddie maybe. Also, I, I, as I recall, um, the more gifts we have, the more damage we, we do against the, the, the baddie. Yeah, this is a this is a holiday spirited um, battle. I didn't even think of that. What is happening? We nice. Damn, yo. There we go. One of those is killed. Nice. That was the big the big attack, and it's it looked like it succeeded. Yes. Okay, so it does happen in sequence. This is good. I'm not going to use the masks. So we have three gifts. We have to use some gifts. Um, okay, so there is our Wii Witch's friend. Prioritizes the target with the most amount of gifts in hand. Offensive dice gain power equal to the number of gifts in the target's hand. Okay. So these guys uh, we're going to have to deal with. Also, it's turn three. Add a copy of gift to target's hand. Um... Is this not turn three? I thought these guys did boom on turn three. Okay, let's deal with this guy first because um, they've got wait. Why did uh, why did uh, Hod not gain any charge? Let's go ahead and give them their gifts back. Okay, um, so Hod doesn't have any charge right now, so we're gonna have to try and gain some charge back. Let's go ahead and do that. Charge back is also a very, uh, holiday related. <laughs> That's when you, you get your gift receipt, gain six charge. There we go. And we only have get one gift here, but it is about to explode. So let's go ahead and hand it off. And they have nine charge. So let's go ahead and rip space on, uh, the, the, the main baddie. Legit way of beating it is focus down the chaff and then beat the crap out of the <laughs> If you are in a mega brain, I'm Unga Bunga Greg Master, you can rush down her easy. So my gift exploded? I thought I dealt with it. That's fine. Okay, so that's that's another one of those. The gifts actually do some pretty good damage. Oh, wait, that 20 damage was, uh, that 20 damage was rip space failing. So even with a, with nine charge, rip space can fail. That sucks. That's nine times 9.9. 9. So I had a, what is it? 89 point whatever, nine, 89.9% 9 chance of succeeding and I still failed. Damn, that sucks. That's just, that's just unreasonable. So they've got nine, nine charge. Um, let's go ahead and use this, uh, this gift. And then I'm going to go ahead and rip space on the main baddie. We'll go ahead and use this gift. And, um, they have nine charge as well. So we could start spending some of that. Spend three charge to boost power of all dice on this. Let's go ahead and, oh, we don't have enough light. <laughs> we have to you, figure out light as well. That's another part of this equation. Just, just goddamn. Um, all right. So go ahead, go ahead and use gift. And uh, that uses up to power. Actually, it might be good to just keep that. We only gained the one Pitipat, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and do dimensional rift on this lad and kill them. Can we all agree that in it is just Brit British Desu? Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, that's that. Dead. Good. Nice. Rip space succeeded. Oh, Kev Bo is staggered. So these guys are all alive, but maybe we can just like rush down the main bad. Let's do... So we have one Pitipat. 
Let's do rip space. And we're going to do... Spend three charge to boost power of all dice. We'll do... Uh, ripple. <laughs> what kind of ice cream do you want? Ripple! Um, and we'll go ahead and do another ripple. Oh, we don't have any charge. We don't have any charge. We have to gain some charge first. Okay, so let's do dimensional rift and then do ripple. We're just going to absolutely destroy. Uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> Kevbo died. Kill her. Ripple. Kill the child. Yes. Charge doesn't have any good light restore yet. Apparently not. Oh no, Kevbo. Oh no. All right, we're doing it, chat. We're doing it. No, Kevbo. Kevbo's dead. No. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and um, do all of the other abnos with the same setup. Energy cycle is your only light restore. At least you have good draw cards. All right, chess said next. All right, time to read. Time to read at fail. Uh, at, sorry, time to fail at reading com uh, comprehension. Gleaning. Every three scenes gain an additional speed die and use the page Harvest Wisdom, which absorbs the target's combat page and recovers the user's HP on hit. Holy, holy crap. I feel like I need a PhD to play this game. Mr. Cheese time. Uh. 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 Um. You. Okay. Every three scenes, every three scenes gains an additional speed die, uses the page Harvest Wisdom, which absorbs the target's combat page, which absorbs the target's combat page and recovers the user's HP. The users, meaning the scarecrow. If the target has no combat pages left to absorb, deals bonus 5 to 20 damage. Okay. So if I have no combat pages, they just do damage. If Harvest Wisdom clashes against Wisdom... What do you mean? If Harvest Wisdom... If Harvest Wisdom... Where is... Okay, so this is Harvest Wisdom, right? If they get... Uses the page Harvest Wisdom. Okay, so they use Harvest Wisdom on... The, every three scenes. So if Harvest Wisdom clashes against Wisdom, the abnormality takes 20 star, 20 stagger damage at the end of the engagement and gains three feeble. So how do I get Wisdom? After absorbing a page that isn't Wisdom with Harvest Wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't do it. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just tell me the answer. Uh, after absorbing a page that isn't wisdom with harvest wisdom, gain strength and endurance equal to the number of pages absorbed and use one of the absorbed pages. At the start of the scene, all librarians who own no pages become staggered. How do I gain wisdom? Do I get wisdom? When do I get wisdom? I don't understand. Okay, I'm sure it'll become more clear, but it seems to me that I need to use wisdom against harvest wisdom. Is that correct? Wisdom will be in your deck. All right. There it is. There's wisdom. Um, and there's harvest wisdom. 
So should I not just use this? This card is exhausted on use. There's 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 wisdom as well. Um, they're doing rake seeking wisdom. Add a copy of wisdom to your opponent's hand. Inflict two disarm and bu okay okay it's becoming more clear. All right they're not doing so this guy's doing harvest wisdom so I want to use wisdom on this. Is that correct? You start with it okay. There's wisdom so I'm pretty sure I've done harvest I've done wisdom against two wisdoms. Or whatever, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I think I did it correctly, and then I can just play the rest of the combat normally. I think that's correct. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it's if it's correct. If you see unfamiliar card that mentioned in the passives, it will probably be added to your deck. Okay. Okay, so I think I did that pretty well. It seems like they gain a lot of their stagger back, but this person used two harvest wisdoms, so they they lose a lot of stagger. Also, this is they're bound. Reduce all speed values by six for the duration. Okay, so this is good. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing to give them bound. Oh right, they they used their harvest wisdom twice, and so they get a bunch of uh, negative. Um, they get a bunch of negative uh, status effects. So this person is doing Harvest Wisdom twice. So we want to do Harvest Wisdom. And uh, where's our other Harvest Wisdom? We don't have another Harvest Wisdom. Uh, okay. That's a problem. So we're just going to... I'm going to try and uh, hit this guy since he's... Uh, kind of on the way out here we'll gain some ripple some charge energy cycle on this lad and um i don't know what to do against this harvest wisdom absorb a page from the target's hand all dice gain plus four power if not clashing against wisdom after clashing against wisdom become weakened next scene uh it seems like they're just gonna absorb my page and there's not much i can do about that you know what would be great is if they could absorb rip space because then they would just take damage because they have no way of gaining charge That would actually be like ideal Let's see what happens Nice staggered That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Damn. And now they absorb. Okay, they absorbed leap. That's actually not great. Everyone's got charge 10, so now would be the time to rip space. Uh, let's see. Is anyone using har Okay, this person's using harvest wisdom. Um, so do I have any wisdom? Doesn't look like I have any wisdom. I wonder if uh Clashing against these um, other attacks is hurting me because then I don't get any wisdoms, right? Is that uh, am I sort of piecing things together a little bit? We're gonna try and clash against rip space or sorry against um, against harvest wisdom I really want to do as much damage as I can to this lad down here. Unfortunately, I don't really have the means. Uh, they can't do anything with charge because they don't have the charge passive. Oh. Yeah, but that's why rip space is great because you can use it even if you don't have any charge. Okay, we, we managed to kill one of the scarecrows. This is good. So you can clash against harvest wisdom. 
Heart clashing against it is maybe a good idea because then you don't take like a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, things are a little bit dicey right now, but it could be worse, honestly. So they're doing Rake Seeking Wisdom and they're doing Leap. So they don't, the Harvest Wisdom is no longer on the table for them. This is good. So let's gain six Wisdom. Or sorry, six Charge. And um, maybe we'll do... We don't have any Charge. So we're going to have to use um, just a normal Leap, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Things are, I don't think that things are really good right now. <laughs> need to, I really need to uh, stagger them. This guy's almost staggered. So this guy's going to do harvest wisdom twice. I still don't have any harvest wisdoms. Spend three charge to boost power of all dice. So let's go ahead and clash against that. And then uh, I will gain some more charge, maybe. Probably not, actually. We don't have any charge. This person doesn't have any charge, so I need to use energy cycle. And then I'll, I guess I'll use ripple, because hopefully I'll have charge by then. That worked. That was, that was good. That was bad. There we go. Staggered. There we go. Hit them. That hurt a lot. Oh my god. Harvest Wisdom. You you have to clash against it. Hopefully with Wisdom, but I never seem to have it. So, like... Okay, we need to... What is this person using? Struggle for Wisdom. Um, What can we use here? Oh, we don't have any light. Man, this is bad. This is really bad. I have no means of hitting the staggered uh, scarecrow, scarecrow. So, uh, like, I'm just dead in the water right now. And now this guy is uh, up, up and moving again. Um, dimensional rift is a. This is a good moment for that. Uh, let's use both of our energy cycles on. Staggered lad. Probably one of their attacks gave wisdom. I'm having trouble remembering. It does, but it's not doing it. Like, I don't have any wisdom ever. Gain some more health slowly but surely. Damn, that did not work out well. Their other cards both give and take wisdom if you do certain things. Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to succeed here. I think this is... Like, they're about to take more sh stuff from me, so... Like, it, it's just not going well. Yeah, staggered and uh, dead. So, that's that. I need to figure out how to gain wisdom. Add a copy of wisdom to opponent's hand. Blocked, evaded. What does that mean? If blocked or evaded, add a copy of wisdom to opponent's hand. So I have to block or evade. So I, I need defense dice. That's what I need. Um, yeah, I think that's that's what I'm missing here. I need to be able to block and I, I generally don't like I tend to play very clash heavy um, decks But this is one of the few occasions where I actually need to block their attacks in order to gain wisdom um, I'll play this out, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere Let's uh, let's try and and uh, Clash against their wisdoms yeah, it's it's that's really not okay. Done. Yeah, dead. I tried. Um. Okay. So I need to add a card to this set. That uh, maybe I want to do Yasad. Does Yasad have a good blocking 
have blo yeah they yasad has good blocking cards so i'm wondering if i should just like swap over yasad's deck you can defeat all your enemies with just a block dice uh maybe for now i'll switch to someone else um we'll try a different floor can i can i do you think i could do jabura's and i'll again i'll just try the charge charge deck All right, let's let's see only one target i love it i love only one target speed dice slot plus two cannot overlap roaring wolf uses howl every three to four scenes targeting all ter characters uh when hp falls to 50 percent or lower gain a speed dice and use howl every scene uh and then this what is this that's a, a second worst anomaly after queen of hatred oh and then who is this little red riding hood mercenary end of the nightmare the battle is won if the mercenary finishes off the wolf the battle is lost if the mercenary dies before the wolf does so i have to make sure that i kill the wolf with my characters and also that this character does not die uses strike without hesitation every two to three scenes targeting all characters oh when rage meter is filled enters a state of rage the rage meter rises above upon taking damage from the wolf and decreases upon dealing damage to the wolf the screen becomes redder as the rage meter fills last two scenes gain plus two strength each scene and uses mass attack fury with no outlet if a librarian lands a killing blow on the wolf the abnormality enters in it and fury with no outlet state and gains additional max hp and stagger resist afterwards recover 50 percent uh fear can i target this guy can i like can i fight this lad i can but if i do then this lad um okay that's interesting so i have to target the mercenary with things that will not kill them um The rage meter rises upon taking damage from the wolf and decreases upon dealing damage to the wolf. So if I can get them to deal damage to the wolf, then then goody for me. So honestly, uh, should I not just let them hit the wolf? Well, let me let me play this out just to see um, what the deal is, what the gimmick really is with this one. It's a little red riding hood and she is your ally. So I have to ensure that I conflict with the wolf. I clash with the wolf so that they, the wolf doesn't hit red riding hood and um, she doesn't gain rage from the wolf. I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And then there's the wolf's actual cards to contend with, which I'm not reading because I'm already just trying to, like, figure out everything else. Like, gaining charge and... Okay. So, Red Riding Hood is, is you know... Her doing damage to the wolf is good because it means she doesn't gain rage, I assume. Last two scenes gain two strength each scene and uses mass attack pages. I'm assuming that means that she would do damage to everyone. She's using it now. Why is she using it now? Gain one strength for every strike without hesitation. Why did she gain that? Uh... When the rage meter is filled, enters a state of rage. Then... Oh, uses strike without hesitation every two to three scenes, targeting all characters. Gain one strength for every target hit. So I need her to not do that. I except I can't actually, can I not target her? Oh my God, there's so much good stuff on this one.
Can I not um, conflict with it? Is there any way I can like stop that from happening? She's going to gain a bunch of strength from uh, landing that. Not to mention do damage, of course. Red Merc needs to land the killing blow and not die. I thought that her killing the wolf meant that she that that I lost. The battle is won if the mercenary finishes off the wolf. Oh, I see. But meanwhile, she's doing damage against me. Uh, I guess she gains strength for doing damage to me. So in a way that means that I'm, I'm helping things along. But damn, if this isn't complicated. Okay. So we're just going to focus on uh, gaining charge as I do. Um, she has charge nine, so we could do a rip space. So she's probably gaining rage from that. Okay, that's those are all bad. I thought it was clashing with with his attacks. I guess not. It's a mass attack. You don't need to clash to defend from it. It's a sum of all your dice combined clashed against the roll she does that gives her strength. So it's sometimes a good idea to let her hit you. I'm going to get some lunch. All right. See you soon. God, we we have to explain mass attacks. So she's gained rage. Which I, I assume is a good thing, except she's doing mass attacks to me now again. No, she's just hitting me now. Now she's just hitting me. So we want to do rip space on, on this lad. Is this a mass attack? It greatly increases the mercenary's rage meter if it hits the mercenary. So I guess I'll just let that hit the mercenary. Unhit, recover 10 HP, on clash, win, gain one strength. So we don't want to let him do that. So we're going to rip space against both of those. God, this is so much. It's just so much. Okay. Okay, you, you're doing a lot of stagger to me. Okay, those are some really good hits. Some really good hits there. I just have to make sure the mercenary wins. That's it. So she's she's hitting me again. We're, we're taking a lot of stagger damage. Uh, what are they doing? Uh, on clash win, gain one strength. All of these are on clash win, gain one strength. So uh, I got to make sure I clash against all of those. So we're going to have to build build some charge with each of these. Uh, spend three charge. Do we have three charge? Yes, we do. Okay, so... Oh, but we don't have three light. God damn it. <laughs> um, what we can do is gain charge and then use ripple. No, it won't let me do that. That's really annoying. I wish I could do that because I could gain charge and then spend it in the same turn. Maybe. All right, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying my best here. Please don't stagger my... You staggered my own dude, and now the wolf is going to kill me. Please do anything! Oh my god. Two of my dudes are staggered. Okay, we're going to rip space. And that's it. Nice. Honestly, them clashing is a really good thing right now. Please stagger the wolf. That would be so good. 
if I can stagger the wolf, I could possibly win this. The fact that I am alive still is actually kind of incredible. Um, we don't have any charge on this individual. So I'm going to have to spend some time to charge. He's below 50%, so he's, he gains just like a ton more like um, abilities. So I'm probably cooked here now. I just need to like gain as much energy as I possibly can. We'll, we'll do a ripple. No, we, we don't have enough light. This is so dumb. I have enough charge, but I can't like spend it. So Jabura is staggered. If we could stagger him, that would be so good right now. Please stagger him. <laughs> Please. Ah! Jabura, no. Big reason this fight is so hard is the fact that Red is so bad at fighting. And the fact that she does damage to me as well. Like, that's, you know, also kind of a huge factor. Okay, we're gonna do Dimensional Rift. And then... Oh, we can't do that now. Okay, so I guess I'll use Leap. Uh, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do here. Yeah, this, this sucks. Jibber is dead. Please stagger him. Oh my god. He just keeps gaining strength. I did nothing against him. I used rip space and I did nothing. Did I actually use rip space? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, the fact that uh, Red Riding Hood is about to like do a bunch of damage to me is what's really frustrating, honestly. Oh, also that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, is kind of garbage. Well, the wolf is staggered, so I don't know. Oh, never mind. I still lose. I was thinking, like, since the Red Riding Hood is the one that needs to win the battle, uh, maybe I would still win, even if all my nuggets are dead, but no. No, I have to survive it as, as well. He fought mass attacks back with Queen. That was a long time ago, and also I don't think I understood them then. Uh, I'm gonna hit the washroom real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, wrong button. just try to do Yasad. <laughs> My ears. Uh, Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's see what we got. Targets the enemy with the least HP. 
we've done this we've been playing library for, for two hours now I sh this is the last um fight i'm gonna do targets the enemy with the least hp prioritize the targets with sealed dice if all of the characters speed dice are sealed by the abnormalities page effects they become staggered if there's a staggered enemy at the start of the scene uses a mass attack page okay is there more no that's it and then these lads kaleidoscope of butterflies targets the enemy with the least hp suppressed when the funeral of the dead butterflies is suppressed i don't know what that means do they all do something different or are they all the same they are all the same so these guys are less about their passives and more about their cards uh on hit seal a speed dice of target until the end of next scene on clash lose seal a speed dice of self on hit inflict five bind what does bind do i can't remember seems to me i just have to uh, uh clash with everything but they're all targeting one but they're also all only doing like a you know they all they only have one so let's first of all let's take care of this so we're gonna go ahead and use i'll use something hefty right away actually i can't because they have yeah okay this this already kind of sucks all right so we're gonna go ahead and do this it's not great on hit seal a dice on hit seal a die on hit deal four bonus damage so i just need to clash with those and hope for the best uh and then i'm gonna use the rest to clash with all of these butterflies Killed when the guy is killed. Okay, so they're just staggered now. If I could have uh, killed one like any of these butterflies that would have been really good so one of my dudes is already staggered I don't know what I did wrong but I I imagine not I just didn't do it right targets the enemy with the least HP they have a they have a they're they're coughing up now lots of things are happening and I'm not sure what I think they inflicted him with bind. What, what is the butterfly? I can't, I can't look at it. Oh, here we go. Uh, sealed two speed dice become unusable. Leftmost dice is sealed first. Increase all speed values by two for the duration of the scene. Uh, and then this guy has bind as well. Reduce all speed values by five. Uh, okay, so I mean, you know, not not great stuff right now. Um, definitely not great. And now this guy's doing a mass attack. So he's doing a mass attack. Twelve, twelve. So he just does, does twelve damage. If target is staggered, deal damage equal to target's current HP. Okay, so he just gets to kill this lad. They're just dead. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Uh, I actually feel like I should just kind of ignore him for now and try and kill these butterflies. Just to, just to try and deal with them. There's a lot of them. So they're dead. Kill. Yes. Okay, one butterfly dead is really good. Kill. Two two butterflies dead is really good. Oh, not quite three. If targeted dies, sum is higher than 12. You just block the damage. No need for clashing. 
targeted die sum is higher than 12. You just block the damage, no need for clashing. Okay. I could potentially survive this still. I just need to kill these two other butterflies because they, they reduce my speed, which means that this guy gets to seal my dice, which means that they get, they just get staggered. And it's a bad time, just in general. Um, so we gotta we gotta kill these other butterflies. Let's see what happens. Yep, they're they're bound. Oh, I really needed you to kill him. Okay, good. Thank God. There we go. Okay, things are turning around. You'll understand them better when you get some of your own mass attacks. Okay. Things are, are turning around right now. This guy still gets... Oh, he gets... So one of his dice is staggered, but the other one is not. That's interesting. Oh, because he... His own dice got sealed. Right. Okay. What? I don't, I think he's, uh, okay. He doesn't, mm. I need this guy to be staggered. Is he about to do a mass attack? Uh, yes, and that means he's going to kill Mimesis. I, I, I can try and conflict against it. I'm not sure how that works. I'll, I'll try my best. I don't think that's going to work. Nope. His dice just roll high. They do, in fact, roll really high. Okay, so now they're about to start sealing my dice. So I need to deflect one of these, maybe? I, I've, I'm out of cards, I see. Uh, this one's five to nine, so I need something that can match that at least. This is not bad. Four to eight. Four to eight would be good. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying my best. It's really not working. Yes. Yes, that actually worked. I managed to clash both attacks so he got he he sealed both of his dice and now i should just be able to absolutely destroy him amazing okay here we go well, i don't have a lot of cards unfortunately but this should be enough to kill him maybe oh so close that was so close uh and now i don't have enough So I just gotta hope that I do I do nine damage to him. Oh, one more attack. Yes! There we go. Nice. Damn. All right. A good note to leave on. One assistant librarian's awoken. Oh, really? We have a new, new librarian. Uh, 
Uh, no, we don't. Oh, I see that just a new assistant. So we have we now have a, our first five floor. And it's on your side. So that means uh, I have a I have a pretty top tier team now. Um, what are these other lads using? I just want to know what equipped page they have. They have Emma's page. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a puppet page if I have any left. I seem to have a puppet page left. I think it is. It's either Moomoo. I think it's pu a, a puppet page. And then what is this? What is, uh, um, Jared has a puppet page. Well, they have a Moomoo's page. So they're just using Moomoo and puppets. And then, um, Yasad himself is using what? Emma's page. So I guess I had a second Emma. So this lucky duck gets to have a, a an Emma page. Oh no, they get a puppet tier two. Highly recommend upgrading Malkuth floor. When you do, you'll get to that mechanic I mentioned. Okay. Uh, I'll d have to do that next week, I'm afraid. Combat pages load. We want to do... Is it new bash? New blunt. I think this is it. Let me just double check. Um, what are we using here? Repressed flesh creek. This is something I don't know where it is. Not temp slash Olga. Discard. Slash burn. Where is it? Blunt? Oh, this is it. Okay, blunt. Import. And then we'll uh, throw some um, blunt on them. So they get to have a meow meow. And um, they already have improv drumming, so they don't need that. Blunt stagger plus one is good. And then blunt damage plus two solar plexus is good. And that's good enough. So we can just throw basically anything on here. Um, you were saying there's like a six cost, but I, I only have three right now. Let's just, um, bring this back to three. New blunt is actually an old blunt. Okay. So I have to upgrade the, uh, the blunt. Gain three strength if no all are, no, we don't want that. Gain two power for the first scene. That's fine. We could add that. It's not great, but if three or fewer pages are in hand at this end of the scene gain one strength next scene that could be good sure let's do that it's not great maybe for this set but it's something um do you want to imatan really quickly uh throw in the uh, a new uh new blunt build I'm not sure what i have Um, is this Olga any good? It doesn't look good. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm using Blunt. I'm not using New Blunt. I'm using Blunt. I'm going to get rid of New Blunt. This is the current Blunt build I'm using. It boosts random damage type by two each round. Six cost passive works best on generalist decks. Um, let me see. Grace of the prescript. Each scene boosts the power of a random dice type of offensive die by plus two. I see. So it wouldn't work very good on this set because this is very specialized. It's It's just blunt. It might be good on the um, the charge deck, though, which is what you were saying in the first place. 
because uh, charge deck uses pretty much all types of, of attacks. Let's uh, I don't I don't like this costume. Let's give her something a bit more like really quick something like anything but this basically. Let's give her Mumu. That's fine. There you go. I like this. Okay, um, that's gonna do it for Library of Ruina. I'll suggest Singleton build for cheese next week. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna, I, I didn't expect to do this today. We're gonna play a little bit of a game called A Goddamn the Garden. Real quick. I don't know how long we're gonna play this for. I, I don't know how long this game is in the first place. But we're just gonna check it. We're, we'll start it up. And then we'll see, we'll see how much we can, and we'll just have a, a quick peek. And then I'm going to um, play Spirit Fair for the rest of stream. <laughs> 